When Marlo Bartels created and installed the Skyline Mural in 1987 for Home Savings of America Bank, located in the Graceland Shopping Center, he had no idea his artwork would be saved and moved not once, but three times. Now the famous Skyline Mural is displayed in the cafeteria at Clinton Elementary School for students to see. 32 years later, Bartels, a California-based artist, was invited to come back to Columbus and repair the masterpiece that has become a staple in Clintonville for three decades. The mosaic ceramic mural tells the story of Columbus's history. A big feature of Columbus to me is the river. A view of downtown Columbus from Bicentennial Park in the mid-80s, highlighting the Levesque Tower nationwide, Ohio Supreme Court, as well as the Lazarus Water Tower. As Bartels chips away at the damage, he is reminded by the history in this piece and what inspired him to create this 32 years ago. And I researched imagery and uh, pictures and things of, of Ohio and specifically Columbus. And I was very um, impressed with the historical museum and um, uh, a lot of the imagery that I found there. It found its way into the mural. Buffaloes, frogs, the great seal of Ohio, the state bird, a cardinal, and the Ohio flag are just a few historic pieces found along the borders of the mural. But it's not just the mural itself that tells a story, but the time travel of the piece of art. In 1999, Bob Evans bought the deteriorating building where the bank once was and decided to build a restaurant. The company agreed to remove the mural on the wall. The Clintonville Area Commission found a new home for the historic piece, moving it to a fitting location. The Discovery Park located on the grounds of Clinton Elementary School. Here, the mural, weighing 3.5 tons, was carried down North High Street and mounted in August of 2000. Bartels agreed to come to Columbus to repair the aging mural with the help of his son Jesse and PTA parent Jim Marshall. Undisrupted for 12 years until the school was renovated, the mural was moved inside the cafeteria where it sits today. Uh, we've been looking closely at it, both at the art room and the librarian has been looking closely at, at the history and all of the details of the mural. Art teacher Sarah Ruff says her students have always admired the mural and talks about it as a topic of discussion in class. She says it's great that they get a chance to see the original artists bring the mural back to life in front of their own eyes. Oh, the kids have so many opportunities through art to problem solve, to figure out their voice and who they are and what they have to say, and just get to be able to be part of making our world a wonderful place. Bartels has two sons and a grandchild. He says he hopes students realize they are lifelong learners, and there is always something new to learn and experience. One of the beautiful little students here came up and showed me the location of where I took the picture of the downtown skyline that I used in the mural and he went out and found out found that location 